Hey uh, everyone, this is Richard Gear Richard Gear Reviews. Not looking like a just woke up uh, father in law, so I'll just put the glasses down. Um, no videos this week because Thanksgiving obviously it came and went, and along with Black Friday to go with it, job wise. Um, but there are some cool things I could plug on this quickie retro news. Uh, for starters, the uh, Let's Henshin video, the final one that Margaret Sotsu uh, called out. Um, turns out I finally made it in, um, card to that. Um, if anyone remembers, it was still when I was doing the figure form and I still had the camera, memory card wise. So, again, totally worth it if you guys want to see that real quick. If not, I'm not mistaken, that might have been also a mobile as well. So, uh, your guess is as good as mine. It's been about, what, four or five months since I submitted it. So, fingers crossed that it's still workable. Alright, I time-coded it in the comments, um, I mean, his comments for his video, I think it was like 18-something minutes in, um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and you think, oh, that's the best news you, you got since last time. No, it turns out, um, for everyone who wanted me to have a quick, uh, I guess, New York Comic Con update post-con, like a month out later, um, I also made it into a quick little cameo in, um, Professor Thorgy's video, uh, I think he was covering... Mostly the cosplays there. He didn't really do the uh, panels and stuff like I did. Um, and honestly, it was more of a cosplay year for that uh, com for New York Comic Con. So I could kind of see his angle there. Um, so yeah, card to that. Um, pause when he's talking to like I think the um, uh, person that's uh, cosplaying Spyro, and you might see a huge shoulder just like mine. I, I think I was still on um, over shirts here. Now I'm looking like Dexter here. Yeah. Huh. Um, so, that's just a quick update. Um, I'll get back to traditional reviews tomorrow. Um, I am heavily uh, deep into both Titans, uh, Gridman. I, I love both shows. Um, episode 7 had a really good, like, finale to, like, I guess this Dick's uh, personal life as a Robin. I think now they got Donna Troy in. So, if I get back to being the real Nerd Red Hood... I'll be making a bunch of Donna Troy retcon jokes because that's kind of a thing. Uh, down to like the 80s where she was like having a who am I moment. Um, more on that when I get to talk about that episode and like think the back half of Titans like everybody else. Um, I think the cover is something I didn't say in uh, the Titans video card to that as well. So <laughs> self-aware plug aside. Um, yeah, I never really got around to talking about Flash or uh, CW's Arrow. Mainly because I was hiding and, I guess, waiting for this year's crossovers. I wasn't really paying attention to the seasons uh, 5 and 7, uh, respectively, for both uh, Arrow and Flash. Mainly because Arrow's starting to be a toxic fandom due to, well, Elicity and all that other shipping stuff. Also, this season just felt like Orange is the New Black, but with, you know, Green Arrow in it, so it's stupid there. Uh, Nora Allen, uh, Future Stuff. Again, it's another Future Speedster. It's not that big of a deal. Um, for Flash's case, but again, I'll I'll tough out all three days of the Elseworlds crossover, and uh, fingers crossed, I'm still getting somebody to voice act uh, any of the female figures I have coming up. Um, so yeah, with that uh, quickie news out of the way, if this is the end cards, uh, go to the previous video here, uh, which was I think me reviewing Titans as the real Nerf Red Hood, and um, yeah, uh, sub to the channel here, and uh, yeah, I gotta get a memory card fast because I'm starting to forget how to plug here on the phone. Um, so take care, have a great post Thanksgiving here in the States, and uh, for everyone, I think on Dr. Terra Watch stream, who thanked everybody who was in the States at, uh, for Thanksgiving, thank you, and hi, Espel! I'm not creepy, right?